Yo, hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm gonna show you cool technique how to make 3D text inside of After Effects. And what's cool about this technique is that each letter is individual, which means you can rotate every letter you want in a different direction. You can play with position, scale, uh, you can change color of each letter separately. One more thing I want to ask you is to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Also, you can type me something in the comment section area. This really helps me to grow my channel and produce more and more new videos. All right, let's jump back to After Effects and let's get started. All right, I'm in After Effects and let's create new composition. Uh, I'm gonna start with the Full HD with this preset and I'm going to change the name to main comp. So it's gonna be our final composition where we will see all our letters. So let's create the first composition for first letter. It's gonna be 600 to 600 and let's name it as L01. It's gonna be letter 1. Hit OK and with the type tool let's start with the first letter. Then we go to align tool and let's recenter this uh, letter. If you don't have this toolbar, go to Window, Align. So for this example, bold typeface works the best. I recommend you to use the bold letters. Uh, then I will drag and drop this uh, composition into another one to make a precompose and let's rename it to 01 but I will add 3D at the beginning. So this will start with the 3D. Okay, then I will create new folder and I will name it as letter 01. Okay, let's put these two uh, compositions into this folder just for easier navigation. Okay, like this. So let's go back to L01. We need to add ramp just type ramp and drag and drop okay so let's make it like this and let's find out some good colors so i'm gonna use this one and let's make it something like this let's go to 3d composition and here we need to create depth for our letter to do this, we need to enable 3D, this uh, cube right here. Then I hit P on my keyboard to enable position. And now we have X, Y, Z. But the problem here is that all our parameters are linked together. Let's uh, break them into separate pieces. Uh, right click here and separate dimensions like so. And in the Z position, I'm gonna press ALT and hit the stopwatch to enable expression and type index. And what it does, it adds one value into every next uh, layer. So if I duplicate it, you see it's gonna be 2. Duplicate it again, it's gonna be 3. I need to duplicate it up to 10. Okay, so now we have depth of 10 layers. Let's uh, hide it. Then I will duplicate it again. So now we have 20 layers in Z depth. If I will switch to, for example, custom view, you see we have depth already. But because we don't have any light source, it's uh, blended all together. We're gonna fix it a little bit later. I'm gonna switch back to active camera. Let's duplicate one more time. I want to have uh, 40 layers in depth, just duplicate. But keep in mind that every time you duplicate those layers, this will get in hard on your computer. So be prepared for this. And also you can switch to from full to half resolution. And also you can enable draft 3D. I will disable because I have pretty powerful computer. And let's create new camera and I will use preset of uh, 35 millimeters uh, and make sure you are disabled uh, depth of field. Hit OK. And every time we add new layer here, we have a problem that all our uh, layers change Z value to one pixel. 
So every time I duplicate something, we move our layers into Z space. And to fix this, I will drop this camera to bottom. And now we are good to go. So here we have a position of one. This is what we are looking for. Okay, so uh, let's add another gradient ramp on top of this. And we can change colors to something different, for example. Okay, then I will add effect called min max. And what it does, it, uh, it's gonna shrink this uh, letter a little bit on the sides. So I will switch mode operation to uh, minimum and channel I will use alpha. So let's start with one. Okay, let's go up to two. So as you can see, now we see edges of, of, the, of this letter. We see edges because we shrink down this letter and we see like the next one. So here I want to add uh, another effect called levels like so and I want to make it brighter. Okay, perfect. Another thing I want to do is to add new null object. Let's place it down below near the camera like so, make it 3D. And now I want to enable anchor point, hit A button and switch this value to minus 20 and I will move this anchor point into the center and now I need to connect all these uh, layers, everything to this node and let's re rename it and type drive. So it's gonna be our driver. I can change rotation, I can rotate it whatever I want. Let's switch back to active camera and let's set the position of this letter. For example, like this. Let's select this first layer and rename it to cap. And this one to edge. Okay, uh, one important thing, one trick, if we switch back to L01, um, let's select our letter, right click, and enable bevel and embus. And what it does, it emulates uh, like a fake 3D effect. And in the parameters here, we need to switch uh, size to something like two, for example. If we switch back to uh, 3D, we immediately see this effect. So our sides, some sides are, br are brighter and another one are darker but right now it's too uh, intense I will I want to lower those effects to 30 and here 30 okay now it's more polite and more uh, and more interesting so in cap I want to change colors one more time okay now I'm going to main composition and I will drag and drop this 3d layer okay uh, and i forget to add animation into this let's fix this let's go to 3d composition and here in a drive let's move forward like 15 frames and we can animate x and y x y and also i want to animate scale then i hit u go to the first frame and let's animate the rotation and also change scale to zero okay we have this um, this strange animation and to make it more interesting let's select those uh, keyframes switch to graph tool and let's make it more interesting and more dynamic something like this okay let's take a look I'm gonna leave it like this and then I need to duplicate this letter so it's letter it's letter 2 
uh, okay let's rename everything out here to 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 but there is one important thing so I duplicated this letter but nothing gonna change here because we reference to our L01 right now we use L01 as uh, our source and to fix this we need to select all our layers and then drag and drop this L02 with ALT I'm holding ALT and drag and drop here and it's gonna immediately replace all layers with this composition and now if we go to this letter and change to R for example if we go back to 3D L2 we see this result all right perfect so in the drive I hit U again and let's change the values here for example like this and let's rotate into another side like so and let's go to main composition drag and drop L2 and let's position it here like so let's I don't really like how it looks now let's switch back to this composition and let's play with those parameters one more time for example like this then we can go back here like so okay perfect then i select those two layers and let's place them something like this all right so now i'm going to duplicate this letter one more time follow the same steps let's let's rename to have easier understanding what's going on let's go to 3d select all layers and replace them with l3 it's gonna be e let's go to main composition and drag and drop this letter here but i want to change the rotation i'm going to 3d composition and uh, in drive i will change the position for example okay like this and do the same for letter 4 and the last one I will duplicate the first one okay then I will go to H and I will change drive okay like this so let's enable action area and let's center everything out and let's rearrange everything uh, on the timeline to make each letter appear individually we can rearrange the position of each letter like this and we have this cool effect and what's cool that you can change the the animation of each letter for example this one i can change values to 50 minus 40 for example and i have different uh, animation here okay so for example i can change for h as well let's go here and let's change some values okay perfect so I like how it looks now and also I can go to cap layer and change the color for example make it like this let's change S color for example let's leave this one and make it yellowish like so and And we have different appearance here 
So basically that's it. This is the main idea. Then you can customize and adjust each uh, letter here. Add more dynamic, more animation and so on. You can see we achieved pretty good result and we spent not much time for making this kind of animation. And what's cool about this technique is that you can change any setting you want, each letter separate and uh, customize individually. I hope you find this video useful. If you do so, please write me something in the comment section area. I will really appreciate your feedback. And also you can hit like button and subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Peace.